All right, guys, so let's now establish our market equilibrium or market clearing price where we have these forces of supply and demand at work. Okay, so I've just drawn out a uh, nice simple table here illustrating the price level rising from two right through to 10 pounds uh, for each unit here. Meanwhile, we can see the quantity demanded. This could be in thousands of units rather than individual units here. Uh, we can see that inverse relationship, of course, where the price is low at two pounds, high quantity demanded at 12, where the price is much higher at 10 pounds, well, we can see the zero is actually demanded. So so we see once again that negative relationship between price and quantity demanded, meaning that of course there will be a negative downward slope on the demand curve. Meanwhile, for the quantity supplied, we can see that a low price uh, means that only a low quantity will be supplied by firms to the marketplace. Meanwhile, at a higher price of £10 per unit, a much higher quantity supplied will be available. So if we just plot these points out, uh, let's run through firstly our uh, demand position. So the, uh, I'm going to start with uh, the price level of 10 here. So at 10 we can see that zero is demanded. Meanwhile, as we then then run through to a price of eight, we can see that three is demanded. Then price is six, we have quantity demanded of six and so on. Okay, so let's just plot those points through and that gives us our demand curve looking something like that. Okay, nice and straightforward. We see that negative relationship between price and quantity demanded there. Okay, meanwhile for the quantity supplied, starting uh, down here at two, well, we see that quantity supplied of two and then it increases like so. Uh, okay, good stuff. So um, that's a nice representation of demand and supply. If I continue this through, we could uh, have our origin, our zero point here, of course. Uh, so if there was a uh, price of zero, no firms are, are likely to be willing to actually provide this good to the marketplace. Okay, so as such, what we can see is we can see this point here. This is our equilibrium price or market price, market clearing price that we see present in the market. This is a situation where there would be no uh, excess supply and no excess demand, i.e. that supply wouldn't be greater than the uh, quantity uh, demanded that demand would not be greater than the quantity supplied. Okay, so therefore, this represents the clearing for the market where supply equals demand and where the corresponding price would be six pounds and six is our quantity of output there, the quantity supplied and demanded to the marketplace. Okay, so this is what's known as a market clearing price uh, or equilibrium price. Uh, now, what does that mean? It simply means that, of course, supply equals demand, so there is no excess production, there is no excess demand. Okay, uh, it essentially leads to that double thank you moment where buyers providing that demand will say thank you very much for the product. Meanwhile, suppliers will say thank you very much for uh, the trade that's actually provided there. So both parties are very, very happy in such a uh, market outcome. Okay, uh, we'll move on to look at this in a bit more detail in our next lessons on uh, consumer and producer surplus. Uh, but then we must also consider, does this really happen? Is this really accurate? Does economics work as beautifully as that? And do all markets clear like this? Of course, there are situations where there is excess supply available. When there is excess supply available, of course, the price is likely to uh, decrease quite significantly. And uh, yeah, you may often see that where bakers have uh, excess uh, supplies available and they want to sell those goods off at a cheaper price later in the day. Okay, so it's very debatable very contentious to what extent markets do actually clear and supply really does equal do the demand there okay all right great stuff guys see you next time